This is Rostro Castanato interviewing Jeremy Miller at the February 2023 Burbank Hollywood Show. So now, um, how did you get cast in Growing Pains? Actually, Growing Pains was just a big casting call, what they used to call a cattle call, where they just grabbed as many kids as they could to come in and read. And the funny thing is, is I don't even remember reading lines with the producers. I just went in and I was a kid, you know. I just went in and started telling stories and telling jokes and doing impressions and stuff. And that's what the producer said got me the job, was that I was a real kid and that that's what they were looking for. Oh, very nice. Do you still keep in touch with a lot of and any of the cast members from Going Pace? Yeah, all of the cast are still in touch regularly. Um, you know, that really was our second family. So we all are still all up in each other's business. We talk whenever we can. I actually just saw Kirk a couple months ago. I spoke with Tracy last week. Um, I, I talk to Joanna every couple of months. She's harder to pin down, though, because she's directing so much now ah. that she's always working. Ah, I see. Cool. Very nice. Who was your favorite guest star that you had and that you got to work with on Growing Pains? Oh, there were so many wonderful guest stars that came through. I mean, so many talented, amazing guest stars. As a kid, having Annette Funicello, you know, one of the original Mouseketeers oh, yeah. come through. Also, Alan Hale Jr., you oh, know, yeah. the skipper. Right, yeah. For a kid who was a, a big fan of those shows back in the 70s and 80s, that was huge for me. Um, but one of, honestly, one of the kindest and most wonderful stars who came through our show, who ended up, of course, being huge, was Brad Pitt. Ah. Brad Pitt was one of the, one of the most just wonderful, warm, fun guest stars we ever had. Nice. And you also worked with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who was a regular on Going Pains, right? Yes. Uh, and, when, and when you worked with him, did you ever think that he would one day become the major film star that he is now? I honestly don't think any of us thought that he would get to be the, as big as he is. I mean, truly big. I see. But there was something there. You could tell he had something special. All of us said it. Alan said it. Joanna said it. Everybody said it. But I don't think anybody could foresee how how big he, he was really going to get. Cool. And so and so you and, and so you and you worked with him on the show as a regular, of course. Yes, he came on on the last season, season seven. Um, actually, as a regular, he was slated to be in the whole se- whole final season. But after the sixth episode, he booked this boy's life with Robert De Niro. Nice. And our producers released him from his contract so that he could go do that film. Cool. Very nice. And um, can you please talk about voicing uh, Linus Van Pelt in the later Peanut specials and episodes? Absolutely. Uh, getting to be the voice of Linus was a real privilege, a real honor. I was a huge fan of the Peanuts before I ever even got cast. And we got to do uh, two specials. Uh, this is America, Charlie Brown, and Happy New Year, Charlie Brown, as well as the big Snoopy musical, which was one of the funnest ones I ever got to you know, be a part of. Being a part of a family and a very exclusive kind of fraternity of people who got to be a part of Peanuts is incredibly special. And it's something that 20 years from now, I'm still going to look back on and go, wow, I can't believe I got the chance to do it. Very nice. Could you please do the voice for us? I am not your sweet baboo, and I wouldn't take you to a chicken race. Wow, nice. Hey, good boy. Hey, nice. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Well, there you have it. That was Ross Castanato interviewing Jeremy Miller.